Good morning. Sorry if you hear the squeaky bird from under my hood. It's my tension pulley. It's the bearings. It's under warranty. I bought a new one a couple months ago, put it in. After a couple of weeks, it started squeaking, and I've just been lazy. But I went there. I talked to them about it this uh, past weekend. They didn't have one in stock, but they ordered me one, so I just got to swap it out this weekend. It's horrible. I got to keep spraying the bearings to quiet it down. Uh, but today's video, it's, it's kind of like the ultimate in bro science. There's no scientific facts to what I'm about to tell you. It's just what I do. It makes sense to me. And if it's a way that it helps motivate you into being sure that you don't overconsume your foods, then great. Um, but don't attack me because there's no science behind it. And I'm telling you there's no science behind it. This is just me and you talking and me telling you what I do. And here's what I do. So I'm gonna put a picture up right here because I think there's more room here than anywhere else. I'm gonna put that picture up. That's a, that's a screenshot of my health app on my iPhone. I've been up since 5 a.m. I went to the gym. I did like 35 or 40 minutes of cardio. Uh, zone one, 90, you know, 80, 85 to 90 beats per minute. That's an elevated heart rate and it's maximum fat oxidation without tapping into your glycogen. That, that was the goal. That's what happens all night. You, you know, while you sleep, you're, you're tapping into your um, fat, you're oxidizing fat, and then I continue it with cardio. Now, I don't eat because I haven't earned it. What do you mean by that, Dan? Well, this is the, this is the bro science. This isn't the factual science. You look at this screenshot, I'll put it up again, and it says that as of what, 7.35 this morning, so in two and a half hours, I've burned 715 calories, roughly, give or take, right? Take the active energy and the resting energy and add it up. So what that tells me that if I were to stop right now, my question would be, am I in a calorie deficit or am I in a calorie surplus? Well, my goal is to lose fat, burn fat, keep trimming down the fat, stay on top of any fat gain, okay? My secondary goal is to maintain or grow muscle, which is very, very difficult to do while you're trying to burn fat because there's so much bullshit out there, okay? And then number three is I wanna eat the foods I enjoy eating and I wanna be able to do it whether it's at a restaurant or at home or at a friend's house and not live a restricted, constricted, boring ass life of following a particular fad, okay? So in order to do that, I'll take the 700 calories roughly that I've burned so far and I'll say, okay, of those 700 calories, I'm gonna have some protein, I'm gonna have some carbs, and I'm gonna have some healthy fat. And I'm going to not exceed 700 calories because I don't wanna be in a surplus for calories if life were to stop right now. And I know that's crazy and it sounds crazy, but it's a way to stay within your calories. It's a way to make sure you're not exceeding what you need. Because if you do, then you're gonna put on weight. Now, if you're lifting weights and working out hard and recovering, some of that weight will be muscle. But some of that weight will be fat. I don't wanna put on fat to put on muscle. I wanna maintain muscle, maybe slowly grow muscle, although it's very difficult to do, if at all, uh, while you're in a negative, you know, uh, for calories but my goal right now is to continue to shed fat so I, I understand I get it but I don't want to lose muscle I'm very 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 big on maintaining lean muscle and keeping my basal metabolic rate up so I can continue to eat foods that I like and enjoy and quantities of it that fill me up I don't want to lose lean muscle, which would then lower my calorie needs throughout the day and night and go down the rabbit hole of sucking and then failing because it's not sustainable to keep having to take calories away and not eat food you like. So as of this moment, breakfast is going to consist of 700 calories or less of a well balanced mix of protein, healthy fats, and carbohydrates was what I was trying to say, and then my camera shut off, my phone shut off. Um, okay, so 
Now I'm gonna put a picture up. And this is where the ultimate bro science comes in. So this picture right here is gonna show you, God, the sun's brutal today. Is it right behind me? It is. Golly, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Okay, so this picture right here is gonna show you the calories that I'm gonna eat for breakfast on the go. And what I got was a Core Power 42 gram, I love these, this one's chocolate, 42 grams of protein, 230 calories, and a banana. So we're talking 300 and something calories. We got some fiber, we got some carbohydrates. There's very little carbohydrates in here, um, nine. And then there's 42 grams of protein, 230 total calories, 3.5 fat. So you take these two right here, you got 300 and something calories, okay? But I've, I've used 700. So I have a 400 deficit as of this moment. I'm in a 400 deficit. Actually, by the time I eat it, it's probably gonna be more like a 550. Now, what does that do? That tells me that for the rest of the day, I'm not starving. I got some protein going in. 42 grams of protein is a good, decent amount of protein uh, on a meal. And I'm not starving. And I'm feeding my body, but I've oxidized fat. Okay, I didn't do HIIT training or glycogen got used and all that. I've only been oxidizing fat. So now I'm gonna feed my body some good macros, a nice mix, foods I enjoy. I love bananas, I love fruit, I love vegetables, and I love uh, certain protein drinks that are convenient. Okay, now the rest of the day, I can check to see, okay, where am I at? How many calories can I eat for lunch? And I can max that out. That makes it a lot easier now for the rest of the day to go throughout my day staying in maintenance or negative. And my goal is slightly negative, kind of close to maintenance because I don't want to lose lean muscle while I am trying to lose fat. That's nearly impossible, I know. You don't have to tell me that, I am realistic. But I'm trying to minimize the loss, which means my fat loss is going to be a longer process, okay? I'm at 12.1, 12.2% body fat according to my biometric scale. Doesn't mean that's right, but if it's if it's consistently wrong, then it's right. So, you see what I mean? Like if, if it's wrong consistently, then it's good, it's usable as information. So I'm 12.1, 12.2 every day, and my goal is to get it down into mid 11s. I'm in no rush to do that. But I wanna to continue to work out, I wanna to continue to get stronger, I wanna to continue to increase the belly of my muscles, which I'm doing. Um, I, I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I look healthier, I feel better. Everything about my meal plan is really doing well and I have no problems eating everywhere and anywhere I go because I have the ultimate bro science calorie hack by watching what I do throughout the day for burn and then eat within that limit or less. So as a quick recap, when I eat my 300 and something calories on my way to this house, I'm then gonna do a home inspection and a report which will take a couple hours. It's gonna get me kind of close to lunch. I mean, it's already just past eight gonna get me kind of close to lunch I will be able to go someplace and eat a lunch that I enjoy try to hit my macros but I'm not going to exceed the calories or the fat or anything like that because I'm doing awesome by only having 300 and something calories of food I enjoy on 700 calories burned already it's the ultimate bro science and I welcome you guys to try it. So when you go to eat breakfast, ask yourself, what have I earned and what are you gonna eat? And then do the same thing for lunch. Do you have calories in the bank because you kind of shortchanged yourself at breakfast? Fantastic, enjoy a nice lunch. If you kind of shortchanged yourself at lunch and then dinner comes around and you want it to be some pizza with the family, you got the room.